Hey folks, David here. Um, I'm going to do a short video on using a um, computer power supply for your railroad for lighting and whatever else you want to make, use it for. Uh, this is kind of a follow-up. Um, my friend Rick from Fultz Bailey Model Railroad recently did a video. So this is just kind of an add-on or a, a follow-up to that video. Okay, so I put this together about two years ago for uh, my LED lighting and other things. And um, it is a switching power supply, so you don't see any, anything on the outputs unless you have a load on it. That's what the resistor is here for. And you just simply take a um, one of the five volt lines, which is red, and connect it to the resistor. Now what I did is I put a um, fan in line with that and that keeps the resistor cool um, and also adds a little bit of an extra load so the specs say to use a 10 ohm 2 watt I think that's an 11 or 12 ohm uh, at least a 2 watt it might be more than that but that's all you need to get uh, your voltage out of there and then uh, if you take the gray wire and connect that to an LED I should mount that LED somewhere, but uh, basically, yeah, take the gray wire and one of the black wires and uh, connect it to an LED. So what you get out of here is um, 3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts, and a negative 12 volts, and then of course your ground wires. So the negative 12, you can actually still use that. For instance, if you needed, say, um, 15 volts you can connect your negative to the negative 12 and your positive to the plus 3 so that would give you 15 and of course if you wanted like around 17 volts you can use the 5 volt for your positive and your negative 12 and that would give you like 17 volts or if you needed 24 volts you can have your negative 12 and your plus 12 so you can use one of those adapters, they work, or you can just wire it up like this, and that's fine. I have a couple extra wires here, and uh, make sure that you cut them off clean so they don't short out on anything. I probably need to tape them off to make sure. And most of the other wires I actually unsoldered from inside there. Um, I did put a switch on it, which actually I don't really need, because I have this... Uh, plug right into this outlet strip so I just hit that outlet strip and everything turns on so actually I don't even use that but um, yeah this is very handy for my lighting because sometimes your LED lighting will have uh, we use 12 volts sometimes it uses 3 volts and sometimes 5 volts so that's what I use for my lighting as we can see up in here I have different lighting So, yes, you can use a computer power supply. You don't need to buy the adapter. You can if you want to, um, but you can just wire it up like this. All right, thanks for watching.